Welcome back to my garden. I haven't done anything this year. That's why you haven't really seen any videos. But one thing I still have alive are my grapes. You can see they're formed. They're lovely. And they're just starting to change color. So, these are really nice table grapes that I love to eat, but unfortunately so do the wildlife. Raccoons, birds are my nemesis. So I'm gonna use these, thing, these leaves to tie around each grape bush or bunch and hopefully protect them. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a shot because I would hate to lose these grapes. They are beautiful. At any rate, I'm going to try it and see if it's gonna work. Well, as you can see, I put some grapes in protective sleeves. Not everything, of course. There are some still outside. I'm not gonna be that mean to wildlife. That's enough for now. Hopefully the wildlife will cooperate and leave me something to eat. Last year they ripped everything out out of the sleeve, so year two experiment continues. Now this grape I'm not protecting. As you can see it went into my cherry trees. It is ev absolutely everywhere. And if I go all the way up I will need a major ladder to reach any of it but I'm also not a big fan of its taste so you can see it went all the way up there I will try to harvest some of it for jellies but most of it will go to the birds it's a slip skin good for wine good for jellies but I do not really care for this one Here on the other side of the, the same garden, the grapes are just running away. You can see they're all over my tree. But they also spread through the garden. You can see just how many grapes and they are pretty damn big. Nice bunches. But again, the taste leaves a lot to be desired, not something I would want to eat. It is good for jellies. If you look underneath, there's a lot more grapes. So I am not protecting these. Whatever I harvest will harvest, and the wildlife will have the rest. They are very nice looking grapes. They just don't taste great. So you saw grapes stretching all the way from that end through the trees, more up the trees, and they're coming here into the maple. Yep. They are very nice looking grapes. And I have no idea how to even try to pick all of these. Of course, we're not going to touch them until October. These are the late variety. So out of my small garden, I'm coming into the herbaceous. I have my some flowers and papaus. For those who don't know, papaw is the native to our region. It's a fruit, tastes like custard, and it grows a little funky. 
So these are the small fruits. They're going to be about six to seven inches long when they're fully ripe in October. They're kind of hiding. You can't really see them. You have to look. But they're here in the tree. Let's see if I can find them up there. As I said, they're hiding. There's a nice little cluster. Peter enjoys it. We planted them mostly for the bears. So they would leave my other fruit alone. Of course, this year we don't have any other fruit. Peaches, nectarines, plums, pears, everything has been stripped and everything is gone. But I can eat one or two when they're semi-ripe because when they're fully ripe, they're just too sweet. And there are four of these trees. I'm not gonna go into the bushes. Bittersweet is getting in my way. I did not do anything with it, so it's getting a little unruly. Let's see if I can find any papas on this tree. There they are, hiding. As I said, they'll need a couple more months. They're getting there. They could be a nice size. They're just taking their time. This is a smaller variety. Don't see a whole lot of them, so... I think I've had some help with wildlife again. I know I had more than this. Oh well, it is being planted for the wildlife, so I can't really complain. A tree is happy, makes me happy. Thanks for stopping by.